Prime Climb is an award-winning, beautiful and colorful mathematical board game that uses arithmetic to open a beautiful world of possibility. This game is so much fun that kids would actually ask to play again and again. That's because Prime Climb uses play to disguise that you're sharpening math skills. Players race to be the first to get to the center of the board while avoiding getting knocked back to the start by other players. Highlighting the power of prime numbers, Prime Climb is mathematical, deep, creative, and so much fun. Each player controls two pawns that start at the zero circle. Players then take turns rolling two 10-sided dice and applying the values of their two pawns using any of the four basic arithmetic operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The first to get both pawns into the 101 circle exactly wins the game. But be careful, if another player lands on you, you get sent back to the start. Along the way, players who land on the red circles collect prime cards. Some are helpful now, some are helpful later, and a few are real trouble. One of the great innovations of Prime Climb is the coloring scheme. Each of the prime numbers less than 10 has its own color. 2 is orange, 3 is green, 5 is blue, and 7 is purple. After 10, each prime number is red. Any number that is not a prime number is a mix of colors that corresponds to its prime factors. For example, 14 is equal to 2 multiplied by 7. So the 14th circle is half orange and half purple. The masterminds behind this game are mathematicians turned educators, Daniel Finkel and his wife, Catherine Cook. Let us now listen to them describing this game. We really, so I think, started to hone in on what makes games fun. Uh, math needs to be like the engine of play, not something that gets in the way of the play, which is how a lot of math games are built. And our best work to date is, is prime prime. And at the heart of the game, is the idea that you can express multiplication and division using color. And that it takes an entirely, um, what often is kind of an abstract, difficult, sort of just rule following process and turns it into a visual, colorful, intuitive process. This way of understanding multiplication is the way mathematicians would think of multiplication. We know because we're mathematicians. We're mathematicians. Um, and one of the things that has been really surprising and cool to see with Prime Climb is because this way of thinking about multiplication is so natural, parents have been able to use Prime Climb to introduce multiplication to their kids as young as six or seven years old uh, because all they really have to do is match colors. So it's giving them an entire new look into a world that they won't even actually meet in school for another few years. Prime Climb appeals to kids across the fluency spectrum. The ingenuity of Prime Climb is that the coloring system acts as an optional scaffold when kids combine numbers. To compute 3 multiplied by 14, for example, the most fluent kids can head straight to 42. But speed is not the aim of the game here, and kids can derive as much pleasure by inferring their destination from the colors of the relevant tiles. In this example, a 3 is a green, and 14 comprises orange and purple since 14 is 2 times 7. So 42 must comprise the combined amount of a green, an orange, and a purple. The hunt is on, fueled by pattern recognition rather than blunt recall of number facts. The reverse operation of division is just as intuitive, except now the colors are being peeled away. Prime Climb is playful learning as it should be, where the play actually reinforces kids' discovery and understanding of mathematical concepts. The game can be played by people who are bad at math and math wizards alike. It takes a creative mathematics educator like Dan Finkel to achieve that balance. This game will turn everyone in your house into a lover of math. Go for it.